Well, today I was harvesting some diodes off of broken electronics, and I want to show you the difference between a standard diode and a shot key diode, and um, why you would care. So I believe this is the standard diode, I think. We have the meter in diode testing mode, and what it's going to do is pass a current through the diode, and actually it's going to I think what it does is it slowly increases the voltage until it just barely is able to conduct current. Because a, a diode um, ideally is like a check valve. It passes current in one direction but blocks it in the other. And the way that works is whenever current starts to flow in the correct direction, it removes a electric field that has built up that causes opposition to the flow so it sort of like opens up the valve whenever you put current through the right direction but it requires a little bit of energy in order to get the diode to turn on and we can that diode is called the forward not that diode that um amount of electric potential is called the forward voltage it's how much voltage the diode requires to operate in order to turn on and that's what the, the meter will tell us so here it says 0 0.544 most general purpose diodes are between you know, 0 0.5 0 0.7 uh, volts and that means that if I had a 1.5 volt AA battery and I used a diode for circuit protection then I would only have one volt left to use the rest of my circuit. However, there's a special type of diode called a Schottky diode, which is designed to function very similar, but it has a much lower operating voltage or a forward voltage. And you check the meter now, and it's 0 0.16, 0 0.17. So you can immediately see the advantage in using Schottky diodes in certain applications where the voltage is already very low battery powered devices and you don't want the diode to lose uh, waste all your energy basically now if you're building something that is stealing in a much higher voltage like the rectifier for 120 volts that half a volt isn't going to make a big deal uh, you just go with a cheaper diode or whatever but it's pretty cool that i found a shot key diode and I want to separate that out because they look the same um, physically besides the part number, but I might need that. Anyway, I uh, hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching.